Y'all need to turn that notification goes on so I can see every time I post. Anyway, I was thinking to do this vlog like a reset kind of vlog, but I don't know like how it's really going on. But I want this week to be a disciplined week for me because I've been really playing. Like I go to work when I want, I be lazy when I want. Like I just been bugging out. Like I just been doing everything when I want to do stuff. So I want to kind of discipline myself this week. I got a lot of things I want to get to better the aesthetics of my vlog. That is something that's very important to me. And I made a list of the things that I want that I feel like, you know, like will look better with my kitchen or just more aesthetically pleasing. That way, you know, like everything works itself out because I want to get more into being a lifestyle girl like how I was when I lived in Palm Beach. Those of y'all that have been watching my videos know that I used to live in Palm Beach. So anyways, it's nighttime. Today's my day off. Yesterday was a very eventful day. The vlog before this, like that last clip in the vlog, that's the same day as this day because I ended that vlog and started a new vlog. So it's dinner time. I'm about to make um, Haitian spaghetti. I show y'all how to make that many times. So there's no need for me to show you guys how to cook that right now. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be taking Kayla to get her hair done. I just have things kind of lined up for this vlog. Hopefully it goes as planned, so yeah. Guys, look at my spaghetti. I'm fucking mad that I still don't have no goddamn eggs, but I tried. Look at my spaghetti, guys. I cannot wait to fucking Fuck it up. <laughs> okay. I don't really like those ones. You don't like this? Mm-mm. It looks like you have a white taco with Ugo Spurry on your feet. Guys, look. It's cute. I like it when you put it with different outfits, but this, it just don't look right with this outfit. I've never been able to find a, a reason to wear my white because it's like it's not fluffy, it goes down like it, it's dead. it looks flat. I got these. I wore them one time when I was in. Those could fit me. And I never really wore them again. And it's crazy because those I are really cute. Like, them. like they're very cute. But I don't feel like I would like them with this outfit. Like, they, um, they I get bad if I'm going to a Jamaican party or something like. That's a good thing. I would like to wear this with a skirt, like. I love, I love it. Just put your shorts down. Oh, wait, let me get my hat. Hold on, let me show you. How do you say? I don't like this. I like it. It looks cute. You just have to put your shorts down. You oh, look. one more? Um, yeah, because it's. Yeah. Okay, it's ugly. Okay, so but one to ten, what about these? I give it a five. I like the outfit and the shoes, but they just don't match together. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I got these shoes like two years ago and I don't think I've ever worn them in public because all my friends like literally cursed me out so bad that I never wore them. Like, I think the only person that liked these was my grandma. But my friends curse me out really bad when I try to wear them out with them. They're jealous. <laughs> Not gonna say my friends are jealous, baby. Because those are really cute. I love those. I don't feel like none of these shoes go with my outfit. Okay, guys. They're really cute. I give them an open. Okay. They can see the shoe for They can. Oh my gosh. It's an okay. It's good. Y'all, this the quality when I was getting dressed was horrible. Like, I can't even lie. Yeah, the quality when I was getting dressed was horrible. Like, the lighting in my room. It's terrible. I gotta be in my guest bathroom because it's so bad in there. Anyways, I ended up deciding to wear my Fendi slides 
because they have red on the rims. Like, and then I'm like, I'm going to Ulta after I drop Kayla to get her hair done. So I'm like, I don't want to be uncomfortable if I got to be running around. I was supposed to do this later on in the week, but I'm like, you know what? I've been working really hard. I, ha I can't, I can't, um, I can't torture myself. Like, my I need skincare. Like, I got to start being like how I was when I lived in Palm Beach. Like, this whole neglecting myself constantly is not working out. Like, I cannot be neglecting myself. Anyways, my Uber is outside, guys. So, I'm going to head out there, get my fat ass in the Uber. I Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky ruin my vibe. And usually, I don't do this often. But since recruiting isn't an option. Do to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Would you just put your sweats on Put your sweats on for me yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill Hey guys, I'm back from work Um, Y'all probably confused because I'm smiling right now But I'm not really smiling because it was not a fucking good night. Anyway, back to more important things. Today I went to Ulta Beauty. I want to get back on my skincare. I'm home. I'm about to shower before I go to bed. I'm probably going to watch a movie, chill, whatever. But I do want to show y'all what I got from Ulta Beauty. It's a, a couple of the items I got was stuff y'all see me get um, when I lived in Palm Beach. But I had to re-up, get new stuff, whatever. So, I got my reusable mask from Pacifica. These are my under eye masks. This is how it look. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, they last me a long time. And this is my other reusable mask from Pacifica. It's for my smile lines, cause I do not like having smile lines. I'm gonna open it and show y'all like how the case look or whatever. But, I wanted to open it after I take a TikTok video, but then again, I could just close the box. Look, this is how the case looked, y'all. And when you open it, it's like, these really do work. A lot of businesses did not believe me, but they really do work because I had really, really bad laugh lines and they're getting better. And when I was using, when I was doing this actively, it was getting better. But you gotta get like anti-Asian cream to put it on. This is the one for the under eye. And they have one for your forehead. They got one for your lips and shit. They got a lot of um, new ones that I haven't seen before. This is the under eye one. Isn't it so nice? I'm really being an aesthetically pleasing girl again. So those are the reusable masks. I got my foundation that I've been dying for for a fucking hot minute. Um, let me turn this on. I wanted to re-up on this for like over six months this is my anastasia luminous foundation let me tell y'all i actually changed the color that i normally get because the first time that i had got this was for my birthday when i went to ulta and i had got a 430w today i got a 420c because for some reason i'm lighter like when i first moved out here i had a really you know like golden tan from new york but now i'm back white as a ghost so this will do for me. I actually got it on right now because I wore it before I left the house. And 
I have got my It Confidence in a Cream. It's like an anti-aging cream for your hydrating cream for your face. I got the travel size one again because I want to make sure this is the cream for me. If I feel like my face improves with me being really consistent, I'm going to get the big one. And I also wanted to get some other face creams and stuff. Come on, y'all. From um, Teamy. Um, what else did I get? This is something new that I got from Pacifica. I never tried this before. But it's a vegan collagen hydrating milk tonic. It's really for like after you wash your face, the lady was telling me. So I'm going to try this probably tomorrow. Maybe when I get out the shower. It's so cute. Look at the bottle, y'all. And it's going to give me like dewy skin. It says hydrating tonic for dewy, youthful looking skin. I want my skin looking nice. Anyway, then I got my lip oils. Y'all know these are my faves. I had got one the last time that I went to Ulta. These are the um, the lip oils from the from Ulta, like their brand or whatever. These keep these keep my lips really hydrated, especially when I want a clear gloss and not a color gloss. So I got two of them. That's all I really got today. I didn't want to do too much. I'm like, you know what? I do gotta get some skincare. I didn't get no face mask. Because I don't know what face mask I want to use. I still got these two from Teeny, But they're finishing. And I got to see if they expire. Because I don't want to be using some expired shit on my face. You know, so. I don't think it's expired though. But yeah, I'm going to do my skincare. And go to bed. Today I took a new energy shot from Home Foods. I'm literally still energized. Because remember I told you guys. I'm not going to be taking Red Bulls no more. I'm going to be taking my energy shots, whatever. I did that, and I'm not going to lie, it was very, very effective. I still got energy right now, like I just said. Um, the next thing that I want to do is get my hydrating sleeping mask so I can have it on my face the whole night. And, you know, I just want to just re-up on my products. I want to get back into my skincare. So, I love you guys. I'm about to just... Take a shower, cold plunge, whatever you call that. My girl Kira, I'm gonna need, I see her do the cold, like the, the cold shower on the face. And it worked for me today. I did that. I had energy the whole day. And then I took my energy shot and I was really like straight for the day. So let me take my shower. And I'll probably do some B-rolls of me doing my skincare, but I don't know. I'm gonna let y'all know when I'm done. Guys, I am going to bed. Look at me. I look crazy, but huh? it's about to be all worth it, even I look crazy. Good night, guys. I'm so shocked that I'm up early right now. Like, y'all know I be dragging, getting ready for work. But tell me why I was watching, because before I want to leave, I want to talk about this. Why was I watching um, the, Real House, the Real Housewives of Potomac um, Part 2 reunion or whatever, and they had like a segment talking about um, colorism. So the segment was I think like five minutes. Was it five minutes? So they were talking about colorism or whatever. I do believe that um colorism exists because like I just see it like on a daily basis, like especially with the type of work that I do. I see it all the time. Like it will be like either okay, like if it's me, I am a licensed girl, but I'm still a black woman. So like if it's me and a Spanish girl, sometimes guys will be like, oh, you know, I don't like black girls. I'm like, Hispanic girls. Like I'd rather a Spanish girl. Like I had one person literally tell me like, um, I don't do black girls. Like I rather the Spanish girls. They got the nice real hair. They don't want to wear. It was just crazy. Then I have experiences where like I'll be at work and like a guy would prefer me over my friends or people that I'm associated with or just people that maybe I don't even know that's trying to approach them because of their darker skin and that's fucking crazy and it's like with the colorism thing I know anyone can be colorism anyone could be a colorist but to me like what I have seen and experienced it mainly be dark skin guys that's the colorist which is crazy well in my work environment from what i've seen like they'll be like oh no um i don't like dark skin girl or i could vibe with you i could tip you but not your friend or like shit like that and it makes me feel totally uncomfortable and it's times that i have walked away because that's not a good feeling like my 
friend literally left work last night because a guy turned her down for a Spanish girl because he doesn't prefer um, girls with darker skin. And people are entitled to have their preferences, but I really feel like that's wrong. People can have their preferences, but I feel like as black men, or not even black men, just men in general, you don't gotta tell somebody like, hey, no, I don't wanna tip you, I don't wanna dance with you, I don't want you to make me a drink because you're black. I would prefer um, a lighter skinned woman or a Spanish woman. That's stupid. Like, it's so dumb to me. And I really take it personal because all my BFFs, like my really close friends, are beautiful brown skinned women. My cousins are beautiful dark skinned women. Like, and it just really throws me. Like, you know, like in my household, my grandma, my mom, my sister, my brother, Kayla, we're all a lighter skin, but I have my aunt, Miracle, and she's brown skin. And it's like, just to think that somebody would treat her unfairly because of her skin tone one day, it really made me scared for her to like turn 18. And I mean, it could happen before she's 18, but just to be out in the world and somebody could treat my family members wrong just because the color of their skin, like that's not their fault that they're the color that they are. It is nothing wrong with the color that they are. But you know, it's something that I never really speak on because anytime I do say something about it, people get to cussing me out. Like, oh, you're light skin, you can't talk about it. But as a light skin person, I have experienced colorism. A guy literally told me, I don't want you to serve me. I want a Spanish girl. Like, I've experienced it. But you know, like, I don't crap about it. I just be like, okay, whatever. But colorism does exist. Like, Real Housewives of Potomac is really turning me off. But you know what it is? I don't know if y'all watch this show, but Candace, she got such a fucking nasty mouth on her. It's hard to feel bad for her because she's talking about people being colorist. I understand that. But she be saying racist shit too. And she be saying homophobic shit too. Like she said a whole bunch of mean comments about gay people. I think when she was working at an office or something, she made terrible, nasty comments about a gay person at her job. And then with Ashley, because y'all know Ashley Darby and Candace have beef or whatever, they be feuding, but now I see they calm down. She said really racist things about Ashley and what the hell is um Ashley husband name? Michael Darby, I think. Um, she said really nasty stuff like referring to Ashley as a slave with the slave master. Like, why are you saying stuff? Like, how is it okay for one people to say racist things? Like, and then they get mad at the other people that say not nice racist things, but you're doing the same thing. Like, I feel like they should have had a moderator or something to talk this, like, like speak about this because on Candace's end, like, I don't feel like she was the best person to speak on it because she said racist things and homophobic things as well. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go crazy talking about this. So, I'm about to go to work, y'all. Um, I look cute. My eye was so irritated when I woke up. Thank God it's feeling better. I gotta go, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later. I pray to God. I pray to the gods. I have a good day. I make some money. Because y'all know my business relaunch date is April 7th, 2023. I better stay fucking tuned. I didn't update y'all when I got back from work. Um, work was okay. Can't complain. It was all right. Um, you know, these days when you have an all right day, you gotta praise God and you gotta keep it going for the next day. Anyway, let me show you my energy drinks I got for today. I ordered these two from um, Instacart. And I don't know which one I wanna see. I feel like I wanna go in with the nasty one. But then again, I'm gonna just drink this one. This is the So Good For You Passion Fruit Energy Drink. I didn't even know this had caffeine in it. So really, I'm gonna take these for today and tomorrow. And then I want to go to Whole Foods and get the one that doesn't... I don't think the Whole Foods ones have caffeine. It's just like literally a power shot of vitamins type shit. Anyways, I'm going to go out and go work. I'm going to see y'all later. I might vlog at work, but I don't know. Because I'm working at um, a bigger club today. I don't know what type of mood I'm going to be in when I get there. So. Guys, it's like two days later. Um, I was not really in a mood. Um... I was not really in a mood the other day, so I didn't vlog, but right now I'm doing my skincare and then I'm gonna record a story time because people have been asking me to do a story time, but that wasn't what was on my schedule. I was gonna do a part two of like worst experiences in a club, but I feel like if I'm gonna do a video based on worst experiences in a club, I have to give y'all the real 
backstory. So I don't know if I'm gonna record that video and drop it before I drop this vlog, but so it might be after y'all see this vlog or it might be actually the vlog before this vlog. Cause like I'm doing two things at fucking once. I'm doing my skincare. I wanna show y'all the setup. So I got my teeny scrub, my teeny mask, um, my IT hydrating anti-aging cream. I got my, what is that shit called again? Tony Solution from The Ordinary. And I got my vegan collagen hydrating milk tonic from Pacifica. I showed y'all this in the last, no, it was this vlog I showed y'all in it. And so, yeah, this is what I'm using. This is really my new skincare routine. I'm gonna see how my face look after. It's a few days later. Um, I did not feel like coming on camera because I look a mess. I just wanted to show you guys my first shipment came for my new drop April 7th, 2023. Um, it's a lot of stuff. I'm going to do like a fit check right now just to see how they fit, if I like the material and everything like that. And I'm not going to do a haul for y'all because I want everybody to see everything when I drop. I don't want to do, a, I don't think I want to do a sneak peek. But I just wanted to share with you guys that my stuff came and I'll talk to you guys later. Look at my girl. Wait, Kayla, I gotta pause this. Look at my little cheerleader, y'all. Girl, why is you turning around like this? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Tell them where you going. Uh, well, everybody... You gotta get closer. Well, everybody... Back it up. Well, everybody's going to um this park thingy, like the cheerleaders go. And even if you're not a cheerleader yet, but you're about to, but you're about to be, because the cheerleader year is starting again. So mm, the cheerleader season. Yeah, I'm going with my friend because she's a cheerleader. So yeah, my baby about to be a cheerleader too, y'all. It's a few days later. Um, I did not feel like coming on camera because I look a mess. I just wanted to show you guys my first shipment came for my new drop april 7th 2023 um it's a lot of stuff i'm gonna do like a fit check right now just to see how they fit if i like the material and everything like that and i'm not gonna do a haul for y'all because i want everybody to see everything when i drop i don't want to do a, i don't think i want to do a sneak peek but i just wanted to share with you guys that my stuff came and i'll talk to you guys later hey y'all what's up it's a couple days later um i'm in the bathroom right now as y'all can see combing out this crazy ass hair um i really wanted to keep this vlog going so i could have like a good like 40 50 minute vlog for y'all because i know that i'm not dropping another vlog until the week of my I know I'm not dropping another vlog until the week of my relaunch because um I'm trying to do an entrepreneur vlog or whatever like to just show y'all all the behind the scenes and all the like like how everything gonna go I gotta show y'all sneak peeks of the clothes because I'm trying to drop my vlog like a day or two i think it's two days before my relaunch um so i'm not gonna be dropping a vlog but i did get all the stories in line i wrote them down and everything for the worst experiences since i've been working in the strip club part two story time or whatever i know i keep saying that but i, I did get the stories together um, I was going to do it as a collab videos with another girl in nightlife. She's a dancer. And I was going to go with a bartender as well and a waitress. I had different options, but I decided that I'm just going to do it this way, like myself. Oh, just spray my heat protecting my hair, y'all, because I'm about to straighten my hair and shit. But I'm going to do it... Um, by myself because it's just too much prep with somebody else and I just really not in a space where I have time for that right now so I'm just gonna do it on my own um shit been getting hectic lately y'all 
So I have not been like, I haven't really been like wanting to be on the camera and stuff because don't mind my fucked up edge brush because I can't find my black home. But I haven't been wanting to be on the camera like that because shit is just so hectic. I really have not been in the best of mood lately. And it's like, I don't want to ever pop out and be fake with y'all. Like, y'all know me. Those of you that have been watching my channel know me. Like, when I get in my moods, I be like, all right, y'all. Like, I'm going to try vlogging again next week or whenever I decide to drop a video. And I didn't want to do that this time. I was just like, you know what? Let me just not vlog for a few days because I don't want to add that those negative buddy clips in there. Like, I just didn't want to be that kind of YouTuber. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So... Y'all can look out for a story time because a lot of people been commenting about that. So I decided like, you know what? Maybe this will be really good for my channel. So I'm gonna try that again. And on top of that is doing a story time is less time consuming than vlogging because it's a one shot stop basically. Like it's a one stop deal and everything. And then it's like, I could be excited for what's to come with my entrepreneur vlog however i decide to do it or whatever so yeah um i'm getting ready to go to work i've been a workaholic lately like i've been so tired that's why i'm like i cannot continue weekly vlogs for this month like i have to revisit that next month starting with my entrepreneur vlog because i am tired like i am overworked like a lot okay so I gotta get back in my get back in my vibe y'all so i'm gonna see you guys next time um once this vlog hits 500 views i'll do the story time for y'all i don't like really dropping new videos if my previous video did not hit my view goal or what i feel like is fair so once this vlog hits 500 views um i will drop the story time about my worst experience in the club anyways thanks for watching this video i love you guys so 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 much um i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video and most importantly i really can't wait to see y'all when i do my entrepreneur vlog like for real because like y'all know that's what i went to like that's what i really started to prepare for is that so anyway i love y'all see you guys in the next video before you click out don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you made it to the end of this video please comment comment doll game if you made it to the end of this video um make sure y'all share all your opinions about everything i talked about or whatever you know that i touch based on whatever in this video because i love getting feedback from you guys i know this vlog is shorter than expected but don't worry we got a little ass story time coming up i promise guys i promise i'm serious like and i'm gonna do it before my hair get fucked up so it's gonna be recorded but i'm be waiting on y'all to give me my 500 views for me to drop it anyways i love y'all so much see you guys in the next video Later, guys. I'm